let's take a look at the auto lock. About a month ago, a bunch of you guys saw this advertised for the first time on Amazon and you bird dogged it to me and I bought one, 55 bucks. Uh, I have Amazon Prime, so there was no shipping. Uh, unfortunately, the first one I got was defective. So I returned it and they gave me number two, which again, defective. So I returned it and then they, re they gave it to me. They gave this third one to me. Um, at this point, I've got almost as much in return postage as I do in their initial purchase price. So rather than return this one, which I also believe is defective, that's why I said take a look at rather than review, um, we're gonna, we are going to look at some details of this. Um, comes in this plastic bag, which, <laughs> odd, I've never seen, you know, don't put this on your baby's head. I mean, why do we even have to, <sighs> anyway. Uh, inside of there is the logo card. And on the other side are the instructions, which I followed to the letter. I was starting to worry because three times, three re same results. I thought maybe I, I'd been doing something wrong all along. So let me show you how this thing, uh, let's look at some design things first. It's a one inch wide band. This is made out of Kevlar and steel. I can tell you it's pretty tough material. And one of the outtakes I'll do, I'll attack this, well, probably in a couple different ways, just to see how tough it is. On one end of it are these little grooves that will engage with the locking pawl inside the lock. I tried defacing these already with a screwdriver and they're pretty tough. Slightly rubberized the entire band so it's going to be protected against the weather. A little further around here, a little silicone tie strap. You can secure this to your bicycle. Uh, I'm not sure I would trust it. It's pretty light gauge and I, 55 bucks. I don't want this falling off my bike but it does give you the option. Um, going around here to the lock itself. It's an aluminum bodied lock. Now let's talk about bike locks for a minute. No bike lock is gonna protect your bicycle or motorcycle indefinitely. Today, these are using die grinders. I mean, that's been pointed out uh, hundreds of times. I've even demonstrated how quickly you can go through some very expensive locks, the die grinder. The most you can hope for from any bicycle lock, this one included, is just a few seconds of delay. So this, I think, would be the lock to use um, if you're like going, stopping in for a cup of coffee, you can see your bicycle through the glass. You just, you ordered up a coffee on your app. You're just running in to, pay, to pick it up, basically. Uh, this might give you 30 seconds delay. If someone attacks at the moment, you walk away. Um, any more than that, I wouldn't trust any bicycle lock, with, especially with an expensive bicycle. All right, having lectured that, how does it work? Following the instructions when it's uh, from the factory, the default combination is triple zeros. You know it's unlocked because you can push this detent all the way in, and I'll do that, and then you can pull the band out. So on the factory combination, it works. So let's put put it back in there. You push the button down, slide it in, and you can hear that locking paw working perfectly. Let go of the button. You can still pull it out. Probably not good. All right, slide it back in there. Let's take it off of the factory combination. Let's just roll it over a little, a couple of different numbers. It is locked because the detent will not go in there. We can still pull that out. So my logic here was that perhaps they made it so that it would not lock until you programmed in your own personal combination. That way, if it was accidentally locked off, uh, locked uh, during shipment, uh, it wouldn't ruin the lock for you. Still give you the option. So let's put this back in there. Let's dial it back to all zeros. Okay, it is unlocked now. Let's go ahead and change the combination. So the way you do that, there's a pin on the side. We just push that in until it clicks. We dial up the combination to whatever we want. And let's just roll that down to 001, just for the heck of it. And then you push this button in. There'll be a click to tell you you've locked in your new combination. And there it is. So we dial that back to 000. It no longer goes in. But when we put it on 001, it does. All right. So let's dial it up to something totally crazy. It definitely is locked. That comes right out of there. I guess what I'm saying is those of you who like combination locks because you keep losing your keys or those of you who can't remember combinations, God, this is a perfect lock. You don't have to have a key or a combination to get your bike open. It's just fantastic. No, seriously. There's too many ways to get into this. Um, it is made with good tolerances up here, so I have not been able to shim it, which is a good thing. I can't decode it, find the locking gate, anything like that. So that's a positive thing, but using the same shim, I can come, just like a set of handcuffs, I can slide my shim between the locking pawl and those grooves and just 
give it a little pressure, slide right in there, and then hold your shim so it doesn't pop out. Just hold it in place, and then pull on the belt, and you can see it slides out silently, telling you that that shim was between the locking paw and the teeth. Not a great lock, especially for 55 bucks on my third try. I would expect it just a little bit more. All right, in the outtakes, I am going to probably destroy this. I'm going to attack this uh, just to see how tough this belt is. So there won't be a whole lot left of this when I'm done. There's not going to be a lot to register for. What I am going to do, there is going to be a giveaway, and that giveaway will be one of these guys. This is um, one of the lock picking training kits from learnlockpicking.com. Again, they have donated this to us. This is the Ultimate Challenge Lock, still in the sealed box. It's got a great little training lock in there. I think it's based on the Schlegg Keyway. Uh, a little bag of security pins, extra springs, plugs, all kinds of cool stuff inside of there. It, it is truly a training kit all in a bag here. Inside of that, that you also get an eight-piece lock picking kit. Very cool. All right, let's take a little trip. I'll show you how to register for this. Registering for any of the Lock Lab giveaways is really easy. All you have to do is go to the Lock Lab homepage. Scroll down to the middle of that page and you see the four weekly giveaway buttons. Just choose the one you're interested in, click it, and it'll take you to the registration page for that particular item. Down at the bottom, enter in a valid email because this is how I'll notify you if you're one of the lucky winners. And if you don't respond in 30 days, by the way, I'll end up recycling the item, giving it to somebody else. So 30 days is the key here. Get back with me. Over here, you put your username for YouTube. If you can't remember it or don't have one, you can enter your real name. You can enter in your high school football jersey number or just any nickname will do. Once you've done all that, just click on Submit, and that's all there is to it. All right, guys, we've been joking around an awful lot about this lock, but I think it's pretty clear there's a defective batch of auto locks out there. As I said, I got all three of mine from Amazon. I'm not sure if that's the only source or not, but if you have one of these or you know somebody that has an auto lock, give it that quality check. You know, put it off the combination and make sure that you cannot pull this out of there. There's absolutely no security offered by this. It's all false security at best. You know, 55 bucks, I would have expected a lot more out of this. I'm, I'm quite honestly disappointed, especially after strike three. Anyway, I appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Until they get their quality control issue worked out, stay away from auto lock too. Mm -hmm.